everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, my name's Emma and if you like what I do here, you know what to do, subscribe. So today I thought I would do a natural everyday makeup look. Something that I usually wear if I don't feel like having a full face of makeup on, if I have to go somewhere, I will do this. So I thought I would show you guys what I do. So that's why I am bare face today, why I have nothing on my face and I look a little bleh. I look a little shiny and I have a few spots here. It's been a problem a few months with the stress and stuff of COVID and eating more chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate? I do. I've just broken out. So you'll just have to mind those today. I'll show you how to cover them up um, for an everyday wear if you don't want to show them. So I actually cleaned my brushes, which I know I said I was going to probably do in my last video, I think. So I needed to clean them, so I cleaned them. And they're so nice and clean. I don't want to dirty them, but that's what we're gonna do. And I also have my makeup bag full of goodies here, which I am so excited to show you and share with you what I usually use. I'm just going to go grab a mirror and I'll be back. So I now have my mirror. I'm ready to start. So when I'm doing a natural sort of look, I generally steer clear of primers because what I use is sort of a primer on its own. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much it. So I use, I've only just recently started using this. Before I would actually just put a primer on or a moisturizer just for the day and I would leave it for this. But I've recently learnt that sunscreen is a very good thing for your face, especially if you work outdoors or if you're prone to getting a lot of sunlight. And I sometimes have to drive for work, so I'm in the car getting direct sunlight. I often work outside, so sunscreen I've now realised I need to wear. I've been, I've tested quite a few sunscreen, tinted moisturiser products, that sort of stuff. And they all seem to sting my eyes and my nose especially in summer when it's hot and sweaty and I sweat everywhere, it stings and it hurts and I just hate it. So I was trying lots of different ones. I've thrown out a lot of products because they just don't work and they hurt and I'm not willing to wear something that hurts my face. So I went into Mecca and I just asked around, I was like, I need something that is a tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it, that'll work for me. So, so the lady recommended me the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with, with SPF 30 in it. And on the packaging that you get the big box, it actually says that it's for sensitive skin. And I've been wearing this for about a week and a half now, every day. And yes, it's winter in Australia, so it's nice and cold. And I don't generally get too sweaty and hot, but even if I do work up a sweat, I've found that this hasn't stung, hasn't hurt me. Now, obviously, it'll be a big test when we get back into summer and it's hot to see if this stings my face. But so far, so good. So I just go in with this all over my face. Um, it's such a nice, nice texture. Um, if you're wondering what the shade is, it's Vanilla O2. And I just get a bit on my finger, put it on the face. Now you could use a brush. I just use my fingers. It's quick and it's easy. And that's what you want when you're getting ready in the morning. I'm just gonna blend that in. Just scooch in a little bit closer so you can see. Um, as you can see, I've just, just as a nice natural glow you could leave it as that, pop mascara on, and you're done. But I'm going to do my kind of weekend natural makeup look, not my work. This is what I do for work, then I just pop on some mascara and I'd be good to go. I'd maybe I'll show you with the concealer what I'll do with it, and then I'd be ready to go. But it just adds a nice sort of glow to the skin, makes me look really healthy, which is what we want. So I'm then gonna go in with my concealer. This is the, oh dear, it's going everywhere. Um, this is the, my trusty, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Swan. I love this concealer. It's so nice and so 
easy to blend and coverage like it covers I'm just going to take I just pop it on the inner corner just a little dot like that same on the other side bit on the lid to cover up those veins any spots on the noses because I get a nice red patch on my nose and I have something some red going on here so I'll just pop some there and that's pretty much all I do in terms of concealer. Going to go in with a brush. Now you could just go in with your fingers, but I like the brush because it can just spread it a little bit more. I'm using a Smashbox brush, it's just like this. Um, doesn't have the name on it, but I just use that and I just go in and I just kind of bring that out. Just to hide. Those are lovely bags that we get. Now, one thing I find when I'm doing a natural look, I like to work kind of fast with the concealer because it starts to dry. I find the brush just helps to kind of diffuse the edges of the concealer or just use your finger. Hmm. I'm getting hmm, what feels like a lovely third chin. That's gonna be lovely in the next coming days. Yay. Now obviously if you want more coverage, which I do want a little bit more coverage on this spot here. Just grab a bit more of that concealer. Just wanna make sure that's all blended in. That spot is just not wanting to be covered today. Oh, oh well. Um, again, this is where somewhere where you could stop and just put on mascara and be ready to go. But I'm just going to set set the concealer just a little bit, just so it doesn't get gross throughout the day or anything like that. So I'm just taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder, just putting some in the lid, and I'm just gonna kind of pat it underneath my eye. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of bronzer. I use two bronzers to kind of get the look that I'm going for. So I use the Mosaic Harmony Bronzing Powder from Napoleon Purtis. It kind of looks like this, it's quite cool. Um, it is illuminating, it does have some shine to it, so it gives your face a little bit of sheen, but I quite like it. I'm just using a big fluffy brush. This is the ColourPop F18 and I'm just kind of gonna brush that. It's kind of replacing contouring. We're using bronze instead just to give ourselves a nice healthy glow. And then I go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soule Bronzer. This is definitely used. I'll show you that. I've hit pan on this one, that's for sure. And this again is a shimmery bronzer, but it's a different shade. I'm gonna sneeze. My eyes have gone all red because I've sneezed. And I'm just gonna put that in the same spots, really kind of buffing it in. Hmm. And I tell you this tastes and smells like chocolate. And then that's the bronzer done. So we're just a little bit coloured now. Um, still have some high points like under here and down there, some whiteness. Just to give a bit of depth to the face here. And now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to take, oh, I think this is a sports girl brush in cheek. I have no idea. And I'm going in with the Tarte Miss. So pretty, such pretty, such pretty packaging. The Tarte Amazon Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Peaceful. So I'm just gonna take the blush. It's got a bit of shimmer to it. It's quite, it's quite pretty. You can use this standalone on its own. You wouldn't need to add a highlighter to it, but 
just put it on the high part of my cheek, give myself some colour, and then I just pop it on the nose, a bit on my forehead, and the chin, just to give the face a bit of rosy colour. Not that I don't have that already. And now I'm going to go in with the highlighter. So I'm going to take the ColourPop E15, really kind of sparse, fluffy brush. And I'm going to be using the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in the shade 201 Daybreaker Glimmer. So I'm just going to grab that and take it on the brush and just on that high part of my cheek. And this highlighter is so, so pretty. I'm just going to take a small small brush now and I'm going to go in and put that it's the Colourpop E21 put that down the bridge of my nose and then I'm just gonna boop the front of the nose there and then take it underneath the brow now I'm gonna go in and do my brows so I get my eyebrows dyed. This is day two of having them dyed. So they're still really dark and nice. This is my natural brows. I don't wax them. I don't do anything like that because I hate waxing. I hate the pain. I just can't stand it. I look, my eyebrows are blonde, so you generally can't see anything else. So it's not um problem for me but they generally last with dye thanks to COVID I got to find out how long they lasted and they lasted there was still color on them at like six or seven weeks so it does last quite a while it's just whether you're happy with like a really thin looking sparse gross looking un unlooked after brow which I don't like but often I will just leave them as is and I won't do any more um but today I'm gonna to go in with my precisely my brow pencil by Benefit in the shade three. I love this because it's got a spoolie on one end and the pencil is super super thin. Super thin. So it's just really easy to use and very precise. So I just kind of fill them in and just extend that out a bit. I know the trend at the moment is to shave up your eyebrows. I don't know how I would feel about it. I've thought about testing it, but I'm too scared to shave my eyebrows, like bring that out there. Mm. I don't know, I kind of like my eyebrow shape as it is, so I'm just not gonna follow that trend. So that's them all filled in. And then I just go in with a brow gel. Uh, this is a tinted one. I generally really like this when it gets to the end of my t brow tint phase because this just helps to make them look more full and fluffy and gives the blonde start starting to creep in the colour so it doesn't look as strange. So I use, this is really old, <laughs> I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel in the shade Soft Brown. I really like this one. It stays really well. Um, it's dark and it just makes them look fluffy and really nice. And I just brush that through. I often back brush the front here because this side is... I found this side at my front is very, very different to the other side. Just like so. And that's the brows done. So I'm just going to put a bit of eyeshadow on just to add a little bit of dimension to the eyes. Nothing much, just a little bit to accentuate them, lift them, open them up, make them look wider, bigger than they already are. That sort of thing. <laughs> um, so I thought I would jump back in with it and that's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. Which is just so freaking cute and it looks like that inside. I haven't ever hit pan on any of these but it still smells like chocolate and still smells so good. So I just go in, I just go in with a bit of the salted caramel down here. Just take that on a 
Morphe M330 fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner. Just really light and kind of just wing it out a little bit to help open up the eye. See, not much, but just enough to give a bit of color and contrast to the nice brightness under here and the eyeshadow up the top. I'm just gonna do it on the other eye. Then I'm just gonna grab Milk Chocolate, which is this shade up here, kind of a more darker brown. And I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing, but not wing it out as much. Just like that. Just a little bit of dimension. And that's kind of it. And then I just grab a little angled brush. Not, not an angled brush. A little detail brush, the Morphe M321. And I'm just going to take those same shades and just lightly run them underneath the eye. Now when you do this, you don't want it so pigmented that it goes right really dark all the way into the corner because you're going to start closing off your eye. So you just want to keep the darkest parts on the outer side and then just whatever's residual, just run it in. And the tiniest bit of that milk chocolate as well. Just keep that really to the outer edge, like so. And then just to give it a bit of shimmer, something, something little. I just take a little bit of the shade Creme Brulee on my finger and I just lightly ever so pat that across my lid. You only kind of need one dip to make it work because you don't want too much on there. So I just take it and I just go, just run it along the top there. Nothing much, just a little bit. And that's kind of it for the eyes. And then just to brighten that inner corner, another little brush. Kind of a denser one this is a the Too Faced smudger one and just grab the shame sh sh <laughs> grab the shade champagne truffle down in the corner this really pinky one it doesn't come off too pink when you put it on i'm just going to pop it in the inner corner just to brighten it and give the illusion that your eye the eye is bigger than it is I then have a brown eyeliner. This is again, I got it in, who's it by? It's by Soap and Glory. I got it in the Christmas calendar, I think like two years ago now. And I never used it until now, but it's like a shimmery brown. And I just use it to kind of add, just widen that eye again. That's all I can really keep saying is just to help widen that eye. So I literally just put it from the outer edge just to about the center of your eye here and I let it dip underneath. You don't go any further into the crease because then you're going to start closing off that eye. I just kind of, this is really hard to do. Kind of like that, but I'm seriously struggling. So I'm going to go do this off camera and then I'll come back and talk through what I did because I'm struggling majorly to do this without holding my eye like that. I don't know why, but it just makes putting eyeliner on so much easier when you can hold your eye flat. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll come back and I'll talk you through what I did. So I just went and did that roughly off camera. And as you can kind of see, even before I've done anything, it's really just opened my eyes up and made them look wider. Um, so then I go in with sort of an angled, not, not an angled, but a flat brush to kind of just run it along that liner and buff it out. So I'm going to take the Morphe something or other because it doesn't have a number on it. And I'm just going to run that along that liner and kind of buff it out. Just like that. And then mascara. And then I'll show you what I did with the lips and then we're done. And it's super easy and super, generally super quick when you're doing it not on camera and not filming. Now I just put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. The mascara I am using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I just put it on the top lids. And that's the mascara done. And then all I do with my lips is I just grab the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. And I just pop a bit of that on. And that's the finished look. 
so it's all done this is the not so natural natural look obviously not full faced but just really light something you can wear that looks like you put effort in but it honestly would usually honestly takes about 15 minutes when I'm not filming so it's really simple really easy to do and you can just do it with general products like even if you just have a normal moisturizer you just put some bronzer on a bit of blush highlight even if you don't have eyeshadow you don't want to wear eyeshadow just do the eyeliner and the mascara and that makes it so much better it's just something really in easy to do and a lip gloss on and you just keep applying it throughout the day keeps your lip hydrated looking good and simple and easy. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you like this one, I have more on my channel, more full face, more crazy. So please go give them a watch and I hope you enjoy them. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.